Hey everybody, what's going on? Today, we're coming at you with a really cool pedal. Um, from what I can read about it, as you know, I haven't plugged in yet. We don't do that until now. I plug in while I record for the very first time. A little backstory on this pedal. Uh, I got some advice from a guy who likes to do reviews of like oddball stuff. And I just got kind of bored of doing reviews of kind of stuff that everybody kind of knows about the big names of stuff so i went on reverb started trolling around under overdrive pedals and distortion pedals and i have come across some really cool looking pedals i've gotten a hold of these people most of them are very small builders and uh i usually just ask them like hey man can i demo one of your pedals because i can't find a demo out there of your pedal and it'd be kind of cool because it's good content for me because I'll be the only one out there. Someone sees it, they look it up, they're going to see my video, right? So the pedal today, right here, is the controller by Mid Valley FX. All right. Very cool, very small company. Um, pretty standard issue stuff. You have the modern way of doing pedaling, which is your in and out there, your power there. It's going to run on a 9 volt. All right, you have gain, you have volume, you have treble, mids, and bass. Seems like a pretty standard dirt box. Uh, just for the sake of having everything in front of me that I'd possibly need to do this pedal some justice, I have a six-string Paul Reed Smith Mark Tremonti, a seven-string <clears throat> Caparelli Levitation, a Seymour Duncan Power Stage 200 will be powering this whole thing through a 2x12 seismic oversized cab loaded with vintage VR30s. I have a, in the signal chain, I have a Friedman BEOD. Just in case this ends up being a overdrive. And if it's not an overdrive, I have the Pepper's Dirty Tree in case it needs to be overdriven. But we're going to try to do everything we can just with this box, get good tones. Um, there's nothing wrong with boosting stuff. There's nothing wrong with using stuff to color, but I kind of like to see what the pedal will do by itself. So let's hook it up and make some noise. Do -do 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 -do. <clears throat> I should have like strippers or something come in here and just dance around while I'm hooking this stuff up. I feel bad people are sitting here and wait for me to hook shit up. I mean, would any of you be upset if I had some strippers walking around while I hooked the shit up? Didn't think so. All right, we have the guitar, we have the plectrum, we have a three channel. The controller, everything at noontime. nice it's not barking or making squealy noises or nothing so let's uh Some 
bite. So let's go up to 75% on the treble, leaving everything else at <laughs> So that right there, volume is at about 65%. Gains at about 65%. Bass is at noontime. Mids are at about, I don't know, I'd say 10.30. And trouble is, is up there. I'm feeding it a lot of trouble. So she's still kind of, this is what I call a fantastic down the middle of the road type dirt box. <clears throat> So, if you add a boost pedal to it, this thing's going to come alive. So, this right here. Very cool, like old, old school metal stuff. good right there but the gain is starting to get noisy which with a noise gate problem solved but I do not use noise gates when I'm doing reviews of dirt boxes or preamp pedals or anything like that I want you to hear what they do
that's a good baseline. So let's put on the Pepper's Dirty Tree. Again, that's the Pepper's all by itself. So it's not really adding a whole lot. gate that sounds pretty good but i think it's kind of riding that line where it could also be an awesome overdrive so uh we're gonna turn some knobs all the way back to the middle here well actually we're gonna turn the gain all the way down to 25 percent level on 50 percent treble is gonna go back up to 50 mids on 50 bass on 50 so we have the friedman beod Alright, 
so as far as running that thing as a overdrive pedal, eh, it works, but it's super duper loud. I prefer it as a dirt box and putting a really good, highly energetic um, overdrive on the back side of it. It really comes to life. So we're going to break up the 7 string now and see what she all does with the 7 string. I have a feeling this is where it's going to shine just because of the gain structure of it. So let's get out the Caparelli. Yeah, that fucking thing. All right. I do want to take a moment again to thank Mid Valley Effects for sending me that out for review. Um, as a small company, I know it's not easy to let your supply go out to somebody so that really means a lot to me that you took uh and let that happen it's a gift if you ever send stuff to people don't ever treat you like anything otherwise all right so i guess probably should put the cord in the damn guitar that probably help wouldn't it i'm a professional imagine it That is awesome. 
Gotta say, this is just a good sounding dirt bike, man. the mid valley fx controller fantastic dirt pedal i really like that it's good it's right down the middle of the road it will definitely give you all the flavor you need if you have kind of like a really weak amp that just isn't getting it this and this probably running through the effects loop will change your whole gain stage if you kind of let them work together um i don't have the capabilities of doing that right now so i can't show you but literally, I'm just running this through a Seymour Duncan 200, uh, Power Stage 200, and that's it. There's nothing else. No noise gates, no nothing. It's the Seymour Duncan Power Stage 200 and the controller by Mid Valley Effects. And of course, a 2x12 cab. And a few cables by Curling Cable. That's it. Guitars used today, again, Paul Reed Smith, Mark Tremonti. You all know that guitar well. It's in a lot of videos. The Caparelli. Levitation, 7-string. Um, it's, I'm not getting along with this one. i got to be honest with you guys. When you see my review of it, you'll be like, ah, man, that sucks. Because it's an awesome guitar. I mean, look at the body on that thing. It's just, it screams metal. It's got this cool, like, you know, if you got something stuck in your butthole and you need it yanked out, little thing on the end of it there. Something to maim the crowd with. Ugh. You know, getting along with it. it it's not the neck is, is massive when i say massive it's massive <laughs> it's not a little chunky it doesn't need a little diet it's sort of like what i was if any y'all can remember what i looked like before i lost a shit ton of weight that's kind of what that neck is like yeah it's comfortable it's a lot of fun but the bitch is huge so there you go Mid Valley Effects controller. Very cool. Right now, through Mid Valley's Reverb Store, I believe I saw this because I wanted to make sure I could tell people what it's going to cost to get it. Through the Reverb Store, I believe they're selling it for $119. And for $119, this is absolutely worth the money. And uh, it's a small company. The dude had to like build this before he could send it to me. How freaking awesome is that? And, uh, yeah, it's just, a, it's a great box. It sounds good. Let's go check them out. I'll put a link to, I believe it's their website. Because I, I can't find them on Facebook. I know I like share this stuff on Facebook, but I can't find them. But the dude, like, he likes Instaham. Uh, Instagram. I don't know why I call it Instaham. I don't know. How does a motherfucker? So, you know what I'm saying? Check it out. Get yourself on some of this. Alright? Yes, sir, son. Mid Valley Effects. Thank you so much for lending this to me to review. This was a lot of fun. I love it when I get pedals I know nothing about. I've not seen nothing about them. I can plug into them. See what they do. And probably if I sat on this thing for a while and got really playing with it, found the perfect overdrive pedal to have with it, this thing would just be an absolute slayer. And I can tell that because it's really 
The gain stage is awesome because it's really saturated fat, like a uh, like an Uber shawl or a triple rectifier, you know, something like that. It, it's very saturated, almost, almost marriage is fuzz, almost, but it doesn't quite get there. So you still got that tight response that you want to have. And it's just a sleek looking pedal. It's simple. It's got a cool little graphic on there. And uh, again, it's just a small company. And uh, I'm kind of priding where I'm moving with the future of my channels. I want to get a hold of more people like this that are smaller companies and highlight their product. Um, it's just, it's good for everybody. I mean, it's nice to know that Seymour Duncan releases a new pedal or if Digitech does something different. You know, but really... This to me is where it's at. These guys that are doing this, you know, some of my favorite pedals I've plugged into, I never heard of. Someone just whispered it, and I was like, ooh, and I look like the Direwolf, right? I had to try one of those because the graphic on it is insane. That's why. No other reason. And I plugged into that, and 35 minutes later, I'm contemplating what I can sell to buy my own. And I did. <laughs> that's what's awesome about these things the small companies they hand touch this stuff if you ever have a problem you're not trying to go through some corporate ladder to get somebody who will help you you're actually getting a hold of the builder and none of these guys want to have a stigma around their product that it's not good who the hell wants that that's just fucking stupid right Mid Valley Effects. Again, thank you so much for letting me borrow this. I ain't decided whether I'm sending it back yet or not. Yeah, I like it. I think if I sat with it for a little bit, I think the few things I'm not a super fan of, I think I'll work the bugs out of it. But that's where I'm at. Holy crap. I had a lot of stuff come in the mail. A lot of stuff. So I'm trying to get to some of these videos. So... The people that were generous enough to send me stuff, I can get stuff back to them. I just don't know if this is going back. This this might be staying. <laughs> it's, it's a good pedal. Anyhow, thank you so much for tuning in. Please, go check this guy out. Mid Valley FX. That's the letter F, letter X. Not E, F, F, E. F, X. For the people that didn't graduate, you can still spell it. You know what I'm saying? Mid Valley, FX. Check them out. This is the controller. I am Sean, and I'm out of here. Please like, share, and subscribe. Catch you in the next video. Bring metal to the children. Keep music evil. Later. <laughs>